Oh, hey, let me talk about a correction. I'm going to eat some crow. Um, two things. The guys at Riva showed me uh, the part itself. There was a video that it was a it was an answer to a question, and I said that the reason why there's a lot of residual water left in the Wave Runners was that the pump siphon would backflow. And while that is true, uh, it's a lot less, and it is not, definitely not the primary cause for the water in the hull. And the reason being is that there is literally a 90-degree one-way check valve. All right, it's a little rubber duck bill that's inside of it. And that one-way check valve doesn't allow a backflow of water at the level that I uh, I had talked about. And so I was incorrect on that one. That was my understanding for years was that it was backflow from that siphon. I mean, for years. And Joe at Riva and those guys were like, hey, man, that doesn't, that's not right. And I was like, oh, are you sure? And they go, yeah. And we went over to a, they went over to a ski and they literally pulled, they pulled that fitting off of the siphon. And they said, look at this. And we cracked it open. We were, look, we were looking inside with a light. And I was like, oh, damn, there's a duck bill in there. <laughs> so I, I got to eat crow. I was wrong on that one. So I wanted to make that correction. Um, yeah, I really wanted to make, I wanted to make a correction on that one because that was something really important. And um, the other thing is the Reva performance team is of two minds in regards to the electroplating, the electroplating that's on the cylinders for the ACE 300 engines, or actually all the ACE engines. Uh, I had in previous videos said plasma coating, and it's plasma coating. It's not electroplating. I mix it up again. I knew it. They plasma coat the cylinders. They do not electroplate, and it's not nicosil, all right? It's, a, it's not a nickel-based plasma coating. It is their own, it's beer, it's Rotax's own 11 herbs and spices. It's their own recipe. And unfortunately, I had been saying plasma coating and I've been saying a nickel based in a lot of the videos and in the articles. And the guy's like, first, it's not nickel based. It's not Nicosil. It's not Eaton's Nicosil. Uh, it's their own plasma coating. And Two of the guys on uh, two of the guys there were like, "Yeah, it kind of sucks, and it makes for irregular hones, and that's why you have blow by." And then another one was like, "Nope, never had a problem with it." And you can duty cycle that engine. You can you can load those pistons, load those rings within forty five minutes to an hour of just hard break in, and override the ECU, and you'll be fine. Um, and then the other guys went. <sighs> Ah, I don't like that. So um, even the guys at Riva, that topic is still kind of split. Uh, I'm erring on the side of kind of caution and being super safety. Um, hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on live sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.